the biblical magi or singular magus, also referred to as the three wise men or three kings, were in the Gospel of Matthew and Christian tradition, a group of distinguished foreigners who visited Jesus after his birth bearing gifts of gold, frankincense and myrrh. They are regular figures in traditional accounts of the nativity celebrations of Christmas and are an important part of Christian tradition. Matthew is the only of the four canonical Gospels to mention the Magi Matthew reports that they came from the East to worship the King of the Jews. The Gospel never mentions the number of Magi, but most Western Christian denominations have traditionally assumed them to have been three in number based on the statement that they brought three gifts in Eastern Christianity, especially the Syriac churches, the Magi often number twelve. Their identification as kings in later Christian writings is probably linked to Psalm 72, 11. May all kings fall down before him. Biblical account traditional nativity scenes depict three. Wise men visiting the infant Jesus on the night of his birth in a manger accompanied by the shepherds and angels. But this should be understood as an artistic convention, allowing the two separate scenes of the adoration of the shepherds on the birth night and the later adoration of the Magi to be combined for convenience. The single biblical account in Matthew simply presents an event at an unspecified point after Christ's birth in which an unnumbered party of unnamed wise men, Magoi, visits him in a house Oikian, not a stable with only his mother mentioned as present, the new revised standard version of Matthew chapter 2 verses 1 to 12, describes the visit of the Magi in this manner in the time of King Herod. After Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem asking, Where is the child who has been born, King of the Jews? For we observed his star at its rising and have come to pay him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was frightened and all Jerusalem with him and calling together all the chief priests and scribes of the people. He inquired of them where the Messiah was to be born. They told him in Bethlehem of Judea, for so it has been written by the prophet and you Bethlehem in the land of Judah are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For from you shall come a ruler who is to shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod secretly called for the wise men and learned from them the exact time when the star had appeared. Then he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search diligently for the child, and when you have found him, bring me word, so that I may also go and pay him homage. When they had heard the king they set out, and there ahead of them went the star that they had seen at its rising, until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw that the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. On entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, and they knelt down and paid him homage. Then opening their treasure chests, they offered him gifts of gold frankincense and myrrh, and having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they left for their own country by another path. The text specifies no interval between the birth and the visit and artistic depictions and the closeness of the traditional dates of December 25th and January 6th encourage the popular assumption that the visit took place the same winter as the birth. But later traditions varied with the visit taken as occurring up to two winters later. This maximum interval explained Herod's command at Matthew chapter 2 verses 16 to 18, that the massacre of the innocents included boys up to two years old, more recent commentators not tied to the traditional feast days may suggest a variety of intervals. The wise men are mentioned twice shortly thereafter in verse 16, in reference to their avoidance of Herod after seeing Jesus and what Herod had learned from their earlier meeting. The star which they followed has traditionally become known as the Star of Bethlehem. Description The Magi are popularly referred to as wise men and kings. The word Magi is the plural of Latin magus, borrowed from Greek magos magos as used in the original Greek text of the Gospel of Matthew, magoi. 
Greek magos itself is derived from old Persian magus from the Avestan Maguno. The religious caste into which Zoroaster was born, see Yasna 33.7 Yasriya per Magaono equals so I can be heard beyond Magi. The term refers to the Persian priestly caste of Zoroastrianism as part of their religion. These priests paid particular attention to the stars and gained an international reputation for astrology, which was at that time highly regarded as a science. Their religious practices and use of astrology caused derivatives of the term magi to be applied to the occult in general and led to the English term magic. Although Zoroastrianism was in fact strongly opposed to sorcery, the King James Version translates the term as wise men. The same translation is applied to the wise men. Look.